La prima cosa, un piano che è ambizioso, un polo golfistico, qua nell'area di 10 km devono nascere quattro campi da golf, con annessi alberghi, suite, centri commerciali, il ritorno sociale sarà prima di tutto un turismo di alta qualità. Per dire a breve si cominceranno a vedere anche i risultati perché oggi quello che si percepisce fortemente è che la gente è tornata a crederci. Bufale, bufale, là, due. Pneumatici, bufale, ci sta di tutto di più proprio. Bombole, allora, bombole di CPL. L'esercituro prima era il, in, in termini del mio mestiere, era un buco, uno strappo che eh, alcuni riuscivano a ricucirlo bene, a tramare, e risarcivano questa cosa e non ci pareva niente. Era un vestito strappato però dopo si stimava talmente bene che sembrava lui. Ma questi riescono a fare questa operazione. Buonasera signor Sindaco, tutto bene? Sono il presidente della comunità Edo e sono tutti gli esecutivi della comunità nigeriana. Sulla Domiziana, noi come la comunità nigeriana non vogliamo più le prostitute, perché secondo noi sulla Domiziana si vede voi come il nostro colore, non va bene per la nostra dignità, anche per il nostro futuro. Vi ringrazio per quello che state facendo, vi do una mano anch'io, vi farò dare una mano. L'unica cosa che dovete evitare è di 
forzare, di usare violenza o cosa. No, noi. Poi dopo la interveniamo noi per applicare la legge. Regno Domiziano perché eh, lo sappiamo tutti, l'imperatore romano Domiziano è stato il primo villeggiante di questo litorale. nuovo festival cinematografico dedicato al mare che è soltanto la prima tappa di una rassegna di manifestazioni che arricchirà questo litorale da giugno fino a ottobre. <totipo> con gli eventi di natura eh, spettacolare, di natura culturale, sportiva e anche legata all'ambiente. Young white men shoot black workers and violent riots ensue. What sounds a bit like the American South in the 1960s is actually taking place in Italy today. The Italian town of Rosano has been the scene of a second day of clashes after a group of youths shot at African migrant workers with an air rifle. The workers then retaliated by setting cars on fire. Riot police were called in and dozens of people are wounded. The BBC's Duncan Kennedy reports. The rioting lasted several hours and into the night. Migrants taking out their anger on cars and the police in running street battles fused with racial tension. Mostly from Africa, the men fought with officers sent in wearing riot equipment. Some of the police battled with the migrants, dragging away those who resisted. It left a number of the immigrants dazed on the ground. At least a dozen people were injured. The trouble started when a group of white youths in a car fired an air rifle at some migrants who'd been picking fruit in a local field. The migrants retaliated, setting off the night's violent events. The migrants were in Italy illegally, and some Italians resent their presence. Migrants themselves say they're here to earn money for their poor families back home, and don't deserve to be targeted by racist thugs. <laughs> These pictures at the migrant's ramshackle home showing an appalling level of privation shocked many Italians and were discussed in government circles. But Italy has enacted a tough anti-immigration policy in recent months, and the conditions of these men don't generally concern an Italian public largely supportive of the government's robust policies. The fighting on the streets of Rosano is one of the more extreme expressions of the underlying racial edginess there is in Italy. It doesn't often lead to rioting, this time it did, which will make it worrying. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Rome. Worrying indeed. And today in Angola, an armed gang opened fire with machine guns on buses carrying Togo's national football team. At least six members of the squad were hurt, and some of the injuries are described as serious. A separatist group is claiming responsibility for the attack. The Togolese team was traveling from its training camp to the Angolan enclave of Cabinda, its base for the Africa Cup of Nations, which organizers say 
will go ahead as scheduled on Sunday. The streets of Italy are a far cry from Chino Prison in California, but even there a law and order dispute is raging. Citizen patrols are coming under fire from critics who say that they're nothing more than vigilantes. One group in particular has created widespread controversy by dressing in khaki shirts and wearing insignia on their arms, a move that has helped to describe them as modern-day fascists. Duncan Kennedy reports from Italy. Messina, landing point for the island of Sicily, and starting point for one of a new breed of neighborhood patrols. They call themselves Italy's National Guard, a group of ordinary citizens that now walk the streets here as crime fighters. They don't have powers of arrest, but look at the uniform. Khaki shirts with insignia on the sleeves. They've been likened to Mussolini's infamous black shirts, who terrorized opponents in the 1930s. And help the fascist dictator maintain power. The new group's uniforms are now under investigation, but patrolling like this has become legal, even though it's immigrants who they openly blame for crime. The majority of immigrants are drug dealers or prostitutes. It would be better for them to be in their own country and help there. It's useless for them to come here. There's no work. The government insists these patrols are under control. This woman says she feels more secure with them. But this woman says she prefers the police to maintain law and order. This one group claims to have two and a half thousand members and is one of dozens now setting up across Italy following the government's green light to citizens patrols. They say they're just here to fight crime. But opponents insist this is all about intimidation especially against immigrants. The National Guard is headed by this man, Gaetano Saia. In his own video, he rages about how Italy is for Italians. In another video we've obtained, there's applause as one of his members makes a Nazi-style salute. Opponents say entrusting security to citizens' patrols is a blow to the rule of law. If the monopoly of security is broken and given to private groups, that means the hand of democracy. That means the hand of the opportunity of citizens to be uh, secured and guaranteed by the state. Italy's new citizens' patrols don't all look like the National Guard. This is another version near Venice. An addition to the forces of law and order, or a magnet for intolerance and intimidation. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Sicily. prima cosa un piano che è ambizioso, un polo golfistico, qua nell'area di 10 km devono nascere quattro campi da golf con annessi alberghi, switch, centri commerciali. Il ritorno sociale sarà prima di tutto un turismo di alta qualità. Per dire a breve si incominceranno a vedere anche i risultati perché oggi quello che si percepisce fortemente è che la gente è tornata a crederci. Bufale, bufale, là due. Pneumatici, bufale, ci sta di tutto di più proprio. Bombole, allora, bombole di GPL.